What is up, everybody? It's your boy David. I'm here with. Hey guys, Jacob here today. We're going to be talking about some of the news that's happened over the last week and a half or so. Some reveals that's come up. Um, we got a lot to talk about today, so I guess we'll just jump right in. And I'm going to let uh, Jacob take over this this card because I haven't seen it, so I'm actually going to be reacting with you guys. Take it away. Oh, this I really like this card. Right here we have Chosai the Ghost Blocker. It's kind of like Kaiku's older brother came out to play, finally got renounced. It's a V-Jump card, so we're not going to know when it's going to come out in the TCG, because we don't have those promos anymore. But we never know what's going to come in a main set. I miss those, man. I miss V-Jump promos. Me too. Okay, so Chosai is a level 4 dark spellcaster effect monster. Good typing, good level, good attribute. It's a beater. It has eight, 900 attack, 800 defense, and it's even a floodgate. Neither player can activate spells and traps in the graveyard. And if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one spell trap your opponent controls in their graveyard, banish it. <laughs> no outlet, son. They can still out it, but I, I just like that you can summon this off of Summoner Monk and then link two into something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, do I think it's broken? No, but like, hey, it's a floodgate that we haven't had before. Like, so that's pretty cool. Like that that type of floodgate. All right, next up we have. The Snecky Boys. I haven't read all of these, but I do think the artwork is like just dope on them. Yeah, we got the Abyss. They remind me of uh, like old Duel Monsters era artwork back with the uh, like Pharaoh stuff. Yeah, they got the uh, they definitely got their pun in, so you know it's Konami America. Yeah, is... I think if um, this deck was around in DM era, Ashizu would play it. Fair enough. Or uh, Ode Odeon, because he played the like the trap serpents too. Oh yeah, he played. Uh, well, he only played trap Buffett. cards. He only played trap cards. So yeah, that's right. It, it would have been easier. Uh, let's uh, look at the first one, Drag of the Abyss. No, Drag of the Abyss. Okay, they're all. You got two drags. Sweet. So I'll just read the first one here. So you got uh, No Drag of the Abyss. It's a light reptile. Level 4, no attack. So anytime something doesn't have attack, you know it's busted, right? Uh, you can only use the first and second effects once per turn each. You can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Cost. Okay. Send one dark reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard. Alright, so it's a starter. Oh, it doesn't even... This doesn't eat your normal summon if it's a starter. That's pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't. If you control no monsters or you control an abyss, you can special this card from the graveyard. But banish it when it leaves the field. You cannot special summon monsters while this card special summon has effect in the monster zone, except reptiles. So, if you control monsters or you control the basic special. So, I'm going to assume they have something that gets sent that can special off of its effect in your plus. So, do they have like a plus two? That's probably why they locked it into reptiles, too. Because I'm I can see that this probably has some spam. Look, after 20 years or however long it took after reptiles were introduced, we're finally getting new reptile reptile support. That's pretty decent. Good. Next up is Nihil. So you got no. So you got no what, what, Nihil. Okay. I don't know the root Philoki? words. I'm trying to think of like some of the root words. Like this is like nullification. This is Nihil, Nihil or nihilism. So. You know, Konami likes to use, like, lore of words and stuff to name their stuff. I was just trying to think of what it would be. So I'm going to assume this is, like, Nihilism. Nihil, the Dreg of the Abyss. Uh, level 4, 0, 2000. You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each. You can send this card from your hand to graveyard and send a light reptile monster from your deck. Oh, they're Chaos. Okay. Mm-hmm. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add an Abyss Spell or Trap. So you... If you see this card in hand here, it's in a Light Reptile. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's cool. So, you... You discard Nihil to send Null, and then special Null. Yeah, off the summon of this. Okay. That's cool, I like that. You can add in on this at Rhoda's for a Spell or Trap. Yeah, it is. Alright, here we go. Here's some attack points. Uh... Logie. Flogie. <laughs> I 
I don't know. Flogey, Haze of the Abyss. <laughs> okay, 1800, 1400. Uh, level 4, okay. And he's a light. Sweet. Don't use his card's names for a second face once per turn each. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard or special summoned from the graveyard, you can target one face at monster your opponent controls and one monster in their graveyard with equal attack or higher attack. Special summon the target in the opponent's graveyard to their field. If you do send the target, they control the game. Okay, so you're giving them like like if they use something to link, you're going to give them back a useless material, but you're getting rid of the problem. Okay, interesting. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send a card from your hand to your graveyard and add this card to your hand. Whoa. Recursion. Well, that's insane. <laughs> oh, wait, you can send this card. As, and all these cards have that graveyard. Okay, cool. I feel like Null is going to be a four, a three of in this deck. Yeah. Okay, this looks cool. Uh, Zoha. Haze of the Abyss. You only use this card's names first and second effect once per page. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard or special summoned, from the graveyard, you can have your opponent draw one card. If they do, add one Abyss monster from your deck to your hand, except Zoha. Then each player sends one card from their hand to the graveyard. Ooh, they draw, but okay, sweet. That's actually pretty neat. It's a uh, Dark World Dealings. Hey, yeah, that's a pretty good card to have, especially in a deck that wants to discard cards. And I feel like if Danger Tsukinoko was at three, <laughs> this deck would want to play three Danger Tsukinoko. Yes. It's a reptile, right? I'm assuming. Yep. Another Super beast or something. A reptile. Okay, if this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to your graveyard and add this card to your hand. Okay. Okay. So they, they, use a lot, they use their hands a lot. This card is this. You can send this card to your hand. Uh, okay, sweet. So I feel like, yeah, you're going to get Null in hand a lot and just use its effect in grave. You're either going to get Null in hand a lot, or you're going to be wanting to send Null. You can only use this cards. Okay. Curse Dawn of the Abyss. Um, level 8. 400 attack, but it's a defensive boy. You can only use this cards first and second effects once per turn. If this card is in your graveyard, you can tribute one monster. Special summon this card. Then your opponent can special summon one monster from their graveyard to the field, but its effects are negated. Yeah, if this card is Special Summon, target a level 4 or lower Abyss monster in your graveyard. Special Summon it, but Vanish it will the field. Okay. It's interesting. It's a level 8, and it doesn't lock you into Reptiles. Yeah, I'm just looking at the, uh... This archetype definitely, like, makes you one for one for all your effects, and your opponent gets fodder as well. It's like... It's very heavy. I hope this archetype like has good, good effects. Cause like having to tribute your monster and give your opponent one. That's wait, hold. On. So they're light and dark theme, so it's chaos theme. Mhm. Mm but they lock in the reptiles. <laughs> At least that one does. Not all of them do. It seems like just that one does so far. And I have something I I'm thinking of right now, but I need to read the card I'm thinking of. All right, Aleph. Dusk of the Abyss. It's a level 8, 2000. Okay, you can only use this card for a second effect. I'm assuming it's every card. Uh, if this card is in your graveyard, tribute a monster special on this card, and your opponent can add a little monster from the graveyard to their hand. Oh, oof. Get back my ass, Boston, please. Uh, if this card is special summon, you can target two of your banished monsters, including a reptile monster, return to the grave. So, right here, you can target two of your banished monsters. So yeah, that means they just know that you're going to run this with Chaos. Like, they know it. So, because <laughs> nothing else has banished so far that we've read. Nothing else banished. Yeah. Yet. So they're just knowing you're going to put in BLS with this. Okay. Look, if it's obvious, it's obvious. Uh, Aaron. Uh, King of the Abyss. This card is in your graveyard. You contribute two monsters. Special summon this card, 25, 28. If you're op your opponent... If your opponent adds a card to their hand, except their draw phase, you can send one random card from their hand. Oh, I see. This card, if, if a monster your opponent controls sends to your graveyard by card effect, you can send, you can add one light or dark or dark monster to deck. Okay, so far, I like this one. This, this, you know how like it's your, these cards are making your opponent do things. This yeah. kind of this punishes them. It like 
it if you would it, it nullifies like some of the effects. That's pretty good. Like they're gonna add a card to the hand off of That's Aleph. a dark law effect. So like Aleph makes them give it to their back to their hand, but if this is on the field, they have to just send one anyway. So they're not actually getting a plus. Alright, alright. That's a lot of setup though. It's some more yeah. of a win more combo. Um Yeah, I hope hopefully there's a way to get this it definitely seems like you want to get everything out to get, like, a lock. It looks like the deck's trying to lock you. Okay. Uh. Amunesia. Amunesia. So I'm going to say am <laughs> the Queen of the Abyss. Okay. I'm going to use all three of them once we turn. If this card is in your graveyard, tribute two monsters. Special summon this card. If a monster is special summoned from your opponent's graveyard, you can send one card they control their Okay, this is the one that punishes, like, the other ones. Okay. Yeah. Because so far, we've seen cards that make them special and make them add. Uh, if a monster is sent from your opponent's hand or deck to the graveyard, you can special summon one light or dark reptile monster from your graveyard. That's insane. That's just adding insult to injury and like, adding more advantage okay. to your side of the board. So, I'm guessing what you do is... These little ones, you want to get the big ones in the graveyard. Use these little ones to do the spamming of the two, because they can spam out two off of their effects. And then you use these bosses, tribute those monsters in the graveyard. That counts I them. Feel. That counts them as being sent to the graveyard by an effect. And a lot of them have yeah. If this card is sent from the field or graveyard, especially when you target a face. Amnesia is definitely a two of, in my opinion. So yeah, these cards say if they're sent have your opponent draw. Okay, sweet. So, okay, I see how this is supposed to run. I see how this is supposed to run. Okay, now, now it's making sense. It's all a big circle. Uh, Ooga Booga? Ooga <laughs> Booga. Oh. Ooga Booga. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a Boa, but Ooga Booga. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. That's weird. Deity of the Deity of the yep. Okay, this must be the boss boss. 31, 20, 22. If this card is in your graveyard, attribute three monsters. Oof. Especially some of this card. That's this too much. Just, it's just, just a floodgate. I'm never, what's this last thing? Well, this card is based on the field. Quick effect. It says all monsters on the field of the graveyard except monsters that were special summoned from the graveyard. Oof. It's, it's Dark Hole. It's good. It doesn't destroy. It doesn't target. It doesn't... It just sends. That's not bad. Like, yeah, I could see this deck. It's not bad. This deck may be something. If they could... But it requires so much. It does, but, like, I'm saying, like, here's what we've, here's what we've learned so far. It really doesn't, because, like, no, uh, you could send it to the grave, send one of the other ones to the grave. Um, I, so far, you may need a two-card combo. I don't know. But, like, this, you normal summon this, get this back. That's your two have one of these two in the grave and then you can send the two that you did summon get these back and then start getting your effects off we'll look at uh here's the spell card it's a field spell oh no every deck gets a field spell depths of the abyss field spell you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn each okay they face up reptile you control it's destroyed by battle or the opponent's monster or opponent's card effect. You can target card your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard. It's destroyed. Okay, so that one's good, but it wait your opponent just doesn't have to do anything and they get around it. If this yeah. if this what, if a face up reptile wants you that's funny, if they dragoon one of your monsters, pop it, then this card can out the dragoon technically if they've used it in the gate because it just sins and it doesn't You're right. Oh wait, it no, does. it target it targets. It does it target. targets oh. Yeah. Okay. Not as busted, but it's not bad. Like, throw this up for a field spell. Your opponent's in an awkward position of trying to get rid of your monsters throughout without destroying. Uh, emptiness. Trap cards. I like trap cards. You can only use these cards first effect of the During the main phase, tribute a reptile monster you control the target a monster your opponent controls. Or er, monster in your opponent's graveyard special. It to your field, but sent to your graveyard during the graveyard. Oof. So, tribute. One of my lower level monsters get the effect that it was sent to the graveyard by its own monster effect because of this trap I reborn your borrowed dragon <laughs> this card is in oh it's a continuous oof 
this face-up card in this field is sent to the graveyard, send all face-up, non-face-up retaliate control. Uh, it's got that Dark Magician circle, or that, uh, whatever it's called. Dark Magical circle? Yeah, well, no, what's the trap that, like, sends everything Eternal Soul. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> okay. Well, it just says, I'll send all non-reptile. Yeah, that's true. Um, Invasion of the Abyss. Special summon two Abyss tokens. Oh, no. If you have two, if you have eight or more Abyss monsters with different names in your graveyard, you win the duel. No, I'm just kidding. You can apply this effect instead. Especially summon two reptile monsters with different names from your graveyard. Whoa. Especially summon two tokens, which isn't bad as it is, because this hasn't locked you into anything. That's crazy. But if you have eight or more Abyss monsters with different names, wait, is that one of everything? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. There's nine of those suckers. You have to play your whole deck to get that trap off. I hope. Which one? <laughs> this tra this uh, trap right here. You can special oh you can special summon two tokens, which is the effect of the trap. But if you happen to have all of the other ones in your graveyard with different names, then you can special summon two of them. <laughs> oh my god. And then Snake Rain, which is, you know, cool. That's actually pretty good in this deck. <laughs> it's actually not just a mean trap or spell. It, like, actually is really good sending four. Oh, Snake Rain makes this trap almost live. <laughs> I hate that. Okay. All right, guys, let us know in the comments what you thought about this deck. That's, it's pretty cool. I have a super paranoia of snakes, like uh, Phobia. So, I won't be getting this deck. Oh, so, uh, really, David? Would, so, does that mean you're just going to scoop to me if I play this against you? <laughs> I just, <laughs> not for me. Just like how Goblin Slayer has ruined uh, whatever it's called, Plunder Patrol. I can't play Snakes either. Next up, Dolly Majestics. Whoa. Uh, let's see. I am this, so excited for this stuff. There's, there's not as much, so we'll go a little faster for this. But, let's see. Alright, Dawn of the Majestic, do you want to take this first one then? Yeah, I'll take this. So first we have Wish Converging Dragon. It's a light dragon tuner effect monster, level 1 with 0-0 zero, zero stats. There's <laughs> a reason it's 0-0, zero, zero. it's a, supposed to be the Majestic Dragon Retrain. So you can only special summon Wish Converging Dragons once per turn. Notice the parentheses S, so you can summon multiple at the same time. And it cannot be used as synchro material except for the synchro summon of a Majestic monster. If oh, well, its first effect. This card's name becomes Majestic Dragon while it's on the field or graveyard. It's a retrain. Its second effect is when you draw this card, you can reveal it and special it from your hand. Then if you control a level 8 or higher synchro, Dragon Synchro, special, special summon a synchro from the deck. Well, no, it's a special summon one level 1 dragon from your deck. One level I'm one getting one. ahead of myself. That's it, pretty cool. It's just so good. Oh, the 5Ds, nostalgia. Next up, Stardust Synchron. Obviously, yeah, machine. I was going to say, Synchron means machine. Hey, it's a Synchron. It's yeah. good. Okay, uh, machine, tuner effect, level 4, 1500. Only use first and second effects with the This card is in your hand or graveyard. Tribute the monster. You can spe not spare some monsters from the extra deck for the respect except Synchros. Also, special summon this card to banish it when it is the field. Um, ooh, locking in synchro monsters right now is kind of rough, even if this archetype's good. You still need those like monsters, but it says for the rest of the turn. So yep, if this the rest is, of the turn. So if this is like tail end of combo in Dragon Lake, well then it's not that bad actually. Okay, if this card is normal or special summon, you can add a spell trap to specifically list Stardust Dragon in this text. Does, no, Assault Mode doesn't, or does it? Assault mode does not. Dang it. <laughs> uh, Stardust Trail. Oh, they got like waifus now? Stardust yeah, Trail. That's a Kiza. Oh, it is a Kiza. I didn't know that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, you can only use this uh, Stardust Trail. You can only use names first and second once per turn. This card is in your hand or graveyard, and a monster control is tributed, so off of Synchron. Special summon this card, but banish it when the field. So that's a four. And that's a four. That's eight right there. 
that's, a, that's full combo. <laughs> yeah, full combo. If a warrior is Synchron or Star, this Mark Three could go Synchro Seven. Using this card's material, you can special summon Star's token. Level one. Oh, that's that's how you get your majestic, right? Because you yeah, need you need two funny. level ones. No, no. So majestic is supposed to be one maj majestic uh, dragon, a uh, one level one monster, and then Stardust or Red Dragon Archfiend. Oh, I thought there was one that took like it was a ten. You need a majestic, a level one, and Stardust. Okay. Level or there might be a new one. I haven't read the new one yet. Okay, let's look at it. Uh, shooting majestic star dragon. That's some cool vanguard artwork right there. Uh, let's see. Wind dragon synchro, four thousand attack. Majestic dragon plus one non tuned monsters, including a dragon synchro monster, must first be synchro summoned. Once per turn, you can negate the effects of one monster your effect opponent controls. That is. Once per turn, so during your turn. Uh, for each Stardust Dragon and each Synchro Monster that specifically lists this card in its text in your graveyard. So, uh, you can make one additional attack during the, each battle phase. So, okay, it's a, a game ender. It's Shooting Star mixed with Majestic Star. And then once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or quick effect, you can banish this card if you do negate the activation. If you do that, banish that monster. Okay, sweet. Dodges. It's actually the pinnacle of Stardust. It doesn't sink special down though. I wish it special down like the old ones. Like you get this out and then you get to bring out Majestic, and then from there you get to Earth. Whatever it was, you know how like, the old ones from yeah, Quasar. Yeah, I know what you mean with Star. That was only with Shooting Star and Quasar. Yeah, but I wish this one had that. <laughs> okay, because it wouldn't be too broken to bring to act to because if you're making this, you should be allowed to summon your. Start this from the extra and then get this back too. Like, there's decks that do worse. Okay. Uh, Arriving Miracle Continuous Spell. That's a Synchro Summon artwork. Okay. Uh, when this card resolves, you can place one level one dragon monster in your hand or deck on top of your deck. Start this dragon. Uh, st Stars Dragon and Synchro Monsters that list it in their text. Now, here cannot be returned to the extra. Nice. Nice. Uh, if, uh, Synchro Monster is special summoned. You can apply one of these effects. You can apply the same effect of Arriving Miracle again for the rest of the turn. Draw one card, special summon one to nurse. So you can use this twice per turn, but just one effect per turn. Okay. I like it. Special summon one to nurse. Right. I wouldn't play that continuous spell, but it's there. Stardust Illuminate. What is this dragon? That's uh, Stardust King Long. Oh, I it's my lore has abandoned me. All right, Stardust eliminate normal spell. Send a Stardust. Yeah, monster. it's Stardust Shaolong. Uh, Stardust monster from your deck to the graveyard. Or if you control a Stardust dragon or secret monster, specifically list Stardust dragon in this text. You can special summon that monster instead. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Target the Stardust monster you control. Increase or decrease its level by one. That's okay. so good. Yeah, that's that's how you. Okay, sweet. That's cool. If they're giving them support the way Blue Eyes got like waves and waves of cards. That's pretty cool. The Stardust. Yeah, I like what we're doing now. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. majestic absorption. Oh, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Target the Stardust or okay, Synchro that lists it in this control. Activate one as well. Equip a face up monster opponent controls to that target. This doesn't target. That's good. Yeah, it That's targets crazy. It targets your monster, but it doesn't target your opponents. Okay. Uh, that target can attack directly this turn. Ooh, attack for four thousand. Um <laughs> Is that a mech lord on that art? It is mech lord. <laughs> I want to get this out, attack directly twice with Majestic, because uh, off of Majestic's effect. <laughs> Gotta get okay. lucky. Each time you're, each time that target destroys an opponent's monster from battle, inflict damage equal to destroyed monsters. Wow. Nice. So you get this on top of... Okay. You activate this when you get Majestic out. That's like a game ender, son. Last one, Majestic Mirage. Continuous Trap Card. If a face-up Stardust Dragon or Secret Monster that listed in the text your control leaves the field to activate its own effect, okay, sweet, or by its own effect, you can apply one of these effects. Special summon one of those monsters 
Banish one monster opponent controls or in their graveyard. All damage you take is half this turn. Apply the same. Apply one of these. Sweet. So if you activate Stardust, you get Stardust back. Yeah, you can. Pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. That's cool, Konami. Keep doing that. I like it. It's only bad at the trap. Alright, last thing we're gonna do today. I had another thing, but it's already getting a long video, so I will cut it off here, guys. Just wanted to quickly go over the confirmed Ghost Rares, because Ghost is for sure my favorite rarity of all time. We got Firewall, which will have its errata. It's going to be in Ghost from the past. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that. Firewall once per turn, you know, I'm sure Gokies or something is still gonna play it. Like, but Oh no, it's Cybers now. Right? Oh. Yeah, it's only Sa Cybers. Salomon Greats. <laughs> no, no, Code Talkers. Oh, pure Code Talkers? Actually, yeah. Code Talkers needed something. That's pretty cool. I want I want uh, Code Talkers to be good because he's the main character. They're making waves in the OCG. Because he's the main character and his deck was the worst of the series. And then the last one was Dark Magician, which I figured we could have all known this. Um. You, you know they'll probably do blue eyes for sure. But, oh yeah, definitely. But Ghost Race. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Join the Discord down below. Links in the descriptions for everything you need. Thanks you guys for keeping up with us. We like talking about the news of the week. And you know, we can't do it like every day. But we want to, if you've missed it and you haven't seen some of this stuff, we want to bring it to you. Anyways, guys, we will see you next time. Peace. Yeah.